going to the left ventricle when you see the this is the left ventricle major part which is you can outline left ventricle it's a one of the left chamber of the heart which is uh, making the receiving the blood from the uh, whatever the we can have here the left atrium and left atrium whatever the receiving the blood from the pulmonary uh, veins that is bringing the oxygenated blood to the that is a left atrium and this is a left atrium this left atrium contracts pumps the blood into the left ventricle and this left ventricle pumps into the aorta so that is your artery so this is the area which is we get the this is the one which is a left ventricle elongated chamber whereas a right uh, ventricle i have told it is a triangular chamber so left ventricle is a elongated chamber which is on the left side and it is making the sternocostal surface and uh, inferior or diaphragmatic surface and it is forming the that is the apex of the heart so here left ventricle forming the apex of the heart and inferior border of the heart sternocostal surface of the heart and diaphragmatic surface of the heart so that is the external features of the left ventricle so i have told the uh, on the upper part of the left atrium we are going to have the there is a projection is known as a left auricle so that is a left auricle so left ventricle how we are going to explain it is a left chamber of the heart which is uh, forming issues the blood from the left atrium to the left ventricle bicuspid wall or mitral wall or the left atrioventricular orifices then it is a oxygenated blood which is pumped from the left ventricle to the that is through the aorta this is the aorta which is you are going to get ascending aorta arch of aorta and descending aorta so aorta arising from the left ventricle and it will pumps the blood oxygenated to the all over the body so this is about the left ventricle introduction and external features of the left ventricle going to the internal structure of the left ventricle how we have come across the <coughs> right uh, a ventricle that is a, i have told this a inflowing rough part inflowing rough and outflowing uh, that is smooth part that is in the right ventricle like that only we are going to have here in the left ventricle we are going to have the lower rough part lower rough part and upper smooth part so you are going to get this is a aorta so we are going to reach into the aorta to the left ventricle that is in the form of uh, that is the orifices we are going to have in this we are going to have the aortic orifices here okay that is the one which is going to the in the aorta so that is coming to the here that is the aorta so here are also coming here so you are going to get the aortic orifices here so in the heart left ventricle left ventricle it is having the internal structure lower rough part and upper smooth part upper smooth part which is we are going to get near the aortic orifices so next we have to remember about the uh, left ventricle has a lower rough part which consists the again trabecular cornea those are the we are going to get the trabecular cornea then we have the ridges bridges and pillars like the we have in the right uh, in the that is the right ventricle so left ventricle also lower rough part upper smooth lower rough part consists the trabecular cornea and trabecular cornea they are the three parts which are we are fixed elevation we get that is the ridges and bridges we have these are the connecting to the cusp and papillary band then we have the uh, trabecular cornea are these parts three ridges bridges and pillars so we have the here fixed elevation ridges ridges are the we call as the aorta tendon then one end attached to the cusp of the valve that is we call as a trabecular cornea and the bridges are called as in a aorta tendon so in the interior of the left ventricle what it consists it consists the lower rough and upper smooth lower rough is consists of ridges bridges and pillars so one uh, we are going to have the blood from the you get the this is a one which is a, you are going to get as a 
the chamber that is the left atrium. From the left atrium, we are going to get the that is a one wall which is we call that is a bicuspid wall or the we are going to get mitral wall that opens into the that is the left ventricle. So blood from the left atrium, oxygenated blood received from the pulmonary veins from the lung coming to the left atrium, left atrium, left atrium pumps blood into the left ventricle. So this left ventricle receives the oxygenated blood from the left atrium to the left ventricle. And the left ventricle pumps the blood into a, here we have the aortic orifices. As we have come across the aortic orifices. So internal structure of the left ventricle are, you have to tell that it is having the lower the upper smooth, lower the part which is there that is consisting the ridges, bridges and pillars. Here only we have the two papillary muscles, two. Only two we are going to get. That is the two papillary bands we are going to get. And uh, in the left, uh, that is a ventricle, we are going to get even moderate size. But in the left ventricle, we are going to have the two anterior and posterior papillary uh, muscle or band we are going to get in the two bands in the that is a left ventricle. So lower up part and upper smooth part. Lower up part is having the ridges, bridges and pillars. So bridges are called as the corda tendon. These are the bridges. Two ends connected you can see. One end is attached to the papillary muscle. Another end is attached to the cusp of the wall of the uh, ventricle. Atrial ventricular orifices and these are called as the bridges. So these are the bridges or the corda tendon. So this is you have to remember in the uh, left ventricle. So what is the difference between the right ventricle and left ventricle? So right ventricle is, you are going to get a, it is a triangular chamber and the left ventricle is a elongated chamber, elongated chamber. Then right ventricle wall when you see this is a 1 is to 3 thickness. See thickness of the left ventricle wall is thicker that is a 1 is to 3. That is a 1 is to 3, 1 mm is there or 1 mm is there means it will be the 3 mm. So uh, the wall of the right ventricle is uh, thin than the left ventricle. Then you get the al almost all the in the right ventricle forms the sternocostal and inferior or diaphragmatic surface. Left ventricle it forms the sternocostal surface, diaphragmatic surface, left surface and both are forming the inferior border. Next you have to remember the almost all the right ventricle consists the deoxygenated blood and left ventricle consists of oxygenated blood. And we have the three papillary muscles anterior, posterior and septal and one moderate band in the right ventricle and left ventricle which is consists the two moderate that is the papillary bands. So that is the anterior and posterior. Then right ventricle has the inflowing rough, outflowing smooth. Then they are separated by interventricular crest. Then in the left ventricle, lower rough and upper smooth. So this is the way you have to remember about the difference between the right ventricle and left ventricle. So apex of the heart is formed by the left ventricle. Sternocostal surface, inferior border is formed by the, that is the, we have the, that is a uh, right ventricle. Okay. So with this, you can understand the, from the right ventricle, pulmonary trunk is arising. And from the left ventricle, we are going to get the aortic orifices arising. So aorta is uh, starting beginning from the left ventricle. So these are the points you have to remember in the, that is a difference between right ventricle and left ventricle. Then going to